Uh, but yeah, no. So John is going to get uh, started, of course. Um, and we are starting on town. FDS stages are normally where these two go. Um, so no surprise that we are starting on town. Um, and we are going to be seeing, uh, you know, John obviously played that defensive mind sort of game. Gets aggressive when he needs to. Wow, big damage. Dill immediately knowing that the soccer ball is going to come out. Goes for that high up beat to get back to stage. We're reset back to neutral. Yeah, already off the bat, we can see the difference between Louis Jesus and uh, Numbers. Oh, Dill going for an edge guard with throwing down the gyro at the start of this. John Numbers knew he, he could just up air that and yeah. negate it gets rid of the gyro completely. Numbers, someone who hates Rob so much, he learned the matchup so well. Oh, uh, wow. Has even taken sets off Zamba before with Rob. Um, not too often, but has. So very, very well versed in this matchup. Not going to be caught off guard by anything this character does. Yeah, and Numbers, of course, is that type of player who, you know, once he has an outline on a matchup, he's going to do very well. I don't think that was true. No, definitely the, the, not. The first hit didn't hit, so I don't believe it was true. Um, ooh, okay. Numbers actually a rare miss on the grab of that gyro there. Um, but still, quickly evening up this game, she um, is, you know, certainly known for kind of once she gets the momentum going versus John, she does very, very well. Yeah, she's definitely a player that, like, very famously, like, people will be like, oh, I took a game off Dill, and then Dill wins 2-1, uh, like, every single time. Oh. Not this time, though. Look at this. Numbers with the early edge guard. Yeah, um, Dill just put SD in there, uh, all the way on the bottom of the stage with a, with a, with a directional air dodge. Um, gonna be very costly. You don't want to be down versus uh, John. Not to say that Dill can't make this comeback. Um, absolutely can. Ooh, okay. Absolutely might just now. Yeah, we've taken a couple getting back, and wow, that hitbox obviously as massive as it is, as active as it is, gonna be able to catch John, even despite the huge drift. Um, which is really big for Jill after an SD, getting right back in the game. Oh, deep breathing right there. Any match arenas in chat? We already got one, clearly, because we're up to 125. Thank you very much. Let's okay. get another one. Oh, and Dill looking for another big combo, like she got to close out the last stock. Numbers needs to land. Okay, yeah, and that nair, ooh, wow, just missing the, the throw there. But that, but that nair uh, losing to the gyro there is big. You, you would expect that a lot of the time to trade. Because we put nair kind of loses its active frames as soon as, like, you know, you, you, the, the move is visually out. Uh, wasn't able to clank there, and Dill, no jump on numbers here. Oh, wow, there was one. God, they fooled me. Ja I, I could have sworn I saw uh, John lose, lose it there, but... Um, John has not gotten footing in Oy, so long. Sour spot. Now jumpless. Still, I don't know if I agree with the choice to run back right there. I feel like that was a pretty easy rob there. Regardless, wow. numbers. Barely. Still not back on stage. <laughs> oh, you might die. You might die. Okay, still, uh, as always, preserving that jump to get back to the ledge safely. Yeah. And still just drifting back. Uh, Really, what was key, so key there was that any time that John drifted back in to recover from high, Dill was on top of it every single time. You're going to see, I'll show you here just because this is one example of the last stop. But you can see here, John drifts in, and as soon as, as uh, Dill is ready to visu like visually seize, seize it, Dill accordingly drifts back and then fares. Yeah. Dill just very ready for those drift ins. And that wasn't the only example of that game. I think also Stock 2, um, when uh, John went for the dare, or rather, when, when Dill went for the dare, um, it ended up being that uh, John drifted in for the second time. And that's what caught his jump, so he had to go low. By the way, if you held your breath when you saw Dill get down it right there, type in exclamation, match, exclamation point match arena. We already are at 150. We're going up in the world. In just a matter of Big one SD set, there. we have, or in just a matter of one set, we've managed to go times 1.5 on our Macharinos. Can we get a double? Can we get $2 by the end of this set? Wait, okay, quick um, start here. Uh, right to FD, and no surprise again, as I mentioned earlier, both these players want to be on FD type stages. They almost always go to the FD stages. Surprise not to see John run it back. John normally does just run it back a lot. Um, but here, uh, opting to go FD. Ooh, wow. Nice, really nice DI right there to Trevor for Dill, preventing that uh, fair from hitting. Dill spiking her own gyro. Gyro met God. Oh. Okay. Okay, not going to go for the side there. Nice DI by John. Dean guys straight out. Make that as difficult as possible for uh, Dill. And John not able to get back on stage. 
Oh wow, the soccer ball still active is going to allow John to get back on stage. And now John in advantage state, Rob has to get back into the floor. And that's the thing, Rob's disadvantage state is really good, but when Rob is above you, Rob can actually have a lot of trouble coming down, especially if you have active, large hitboxes like Weaver Chainer does. 175. Oh! We are one away from doubling what we used to have prior to the set. And numbers, one more stop to making it back right here and making it 1-1. Beautiful deep spike and another deep breathing. Any match for Reno's in chat? Okay. That Nair, very safe on shield. Dill uh, recognizing that, utilizing Spotless to try and get past the next option from John. Didn't end up working out. Nice air dodge by John to catch the gyro. Down angle gyro. Ooh, almost utilizing soccer ball there to take the stock. But John going to be able to uh, retreat back to that ledge. And that gyro going to catch Dill. And this is what John's kind of been yeah, looking for be the whole set was a lead. Wow. I feel like John really um, was playing from a deficit so often that, that he was trying to force things. And Dill is exploiting it so much. But now John can chill a bit. Dill, I like the drift in. She's been doing so much stay in place nares to bait out like a jump or a get up attack. But drifting in right there with John thinking that he has the space. Okay. Difficult situation here for Dill to get back to the ground. Pass the land, quick back here by John. Nice uh, getting up there so fast with the, with the double jump. Okay, once again, Dill needs to land. Has had a lot of trouble getting back down to the floor. John has been taking a lot, a huge amount of advantage. Nice pair by John, but still no punish. Dill with some tactical flubs this set so far. A few missed beer versus like right there. Costing her a lot of damage. Got to be on point with that in numbers. So aware of what you can punish, just that fastball F till on the gyro. Yeah. And gyro does deceptively have a lot of lag when you're not like throwing it. When you when you do just that down B, it does actually have a decent amount of lag afterwards. So John taking full advantage of that punish. Uh no jump. Okay, we're back. Yeah, and John's like reactions to Dill's jumps with these dash tags, like oh, you died? totally shutting oh, down okay. beautiful tech. Okay, but John's still in a good position here, up a full stock, and yeah, that's going to be a lap right there. And of course, because of Rob's uh, heavy weight units and um, big frame, he's going to die here probably. No, okay. That is enough with the deep breathing. Um, and that is, and that's the thing with with, with Rob. You, not only are you susceptible to things that you know most characters are are not. Uh, specifically, that being the up throw stuff, and we've generated those late percents. Great tech just here by John. Actually, not tech chase quite, but um, parrying into that dash tag. We able to stop. Yeah, so one thing you said interesting um, was that numbers usually runs the back. Mm -hmm. And I think um, it was actually like so good that he did not because I feel like FD came in huge right there. Yeah. Because like to close out the game, the parry and the nair into the dash attack, nowhere for Dill to land. And that's where numbers got so much damage. FD, I think, was a, the perfect stage choice. Honestly, surprised Dill did not ban it. Yeah. Uh, FD, obviously, a stage that both these players like, but really numbers taking full advantage there. Uh, able to catch almost all of Dill's landings. Um, did not let Dill get back down to the floor. However, we're going into game number two, and we're right back to town, which is no surprise. Dill played very well here as well. Um, okay, missing that gyro catch right there, but number still in a decent position. A little bit of a lead here to start the game. Um, classic stuff back throw. Okay, uh, that might have been the jump. I think it is. Oh wow, John like is the, is the one person that I, I always just feel like I'm wrong. I should just say he definitely has a jump. Um, we fits like ability to stall in the air like makes it feel like they're in a space for so long they must have used the jump but in reality like still have tools in the back pocket and that deep breathing nair into bear so much damage now numbers with a percent lead and this fd transformation yeah. couldn't be at a worse time yeah i was about to say really huge uh for numbers this fd transformation has already started to pay dividends um okay Wow, and out of fuel. That's going to be a stock on a huge one for numbers because not a death percent just yet and in a good position overall. Um, okay, it's going to clank and back there. It's a good trade for John. Uh, and that's fair, super safe on shield. So they'll absolutely not punish that. Uh, quick laser, though. Get done off the stage. Preserving that jump. Oh, 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 wow, and did not fall for the tomahawk there. Numbers immediately grabbed. I think Dill might have tried doing a falling up air, like the first hit. Uh -huh. I might have saw the side of that, but it might be crazy. 
Definitely yeah. could could have been possible for sure. And this is just like seems unwinnable wow. with the way Numbers plays because Numbers is gonna be staying like center stage a lot, and Dill is just gonna have to land on that, like, and it's just not been happening. Yeah, this is this is went from Dill, who looked very strong in game number one, to pretty dominant game by Numbers. Not the greatest CI on that, but still gonna end up living because of the deep breathing. Okay, okay, yeah, that's gonna be it. Right, rest yeah. in peace. Yeah, um, Dill needed that. Now Dill's gonna need some good old gyro nares into uh, infinity percent into death. But the now the gyro out of hand has to do it all by Rob's self. No help, never mind. Oh, oh wow. You try to use that down smash, the low profile, whatever uh, option Dill's gonna go for. Okay, no jump here for Dill, so this could be potentially pretty big for John, but a great air dodge for Dill to get back to the ledge there. Um, okay. Some push-ups. Okay. Get your fitness in. Good job. Right, that's fair. Pretty safe. Can't really punish that. Try to use, utilize that dare, Ooh. or that bear, rather. It does catch John at the ledge. And we I are... This, this game is now in a position where it is winnable. Yeah, and I really like that bear because Dill has not been using that all set, really. Besides, like, deep edge guards, like, the bear never really came out. And so to use it on the ledge twice like that, number's not ready for it. And now, this is very much, if Dill can land here, she can win. Yeah. It's a big if, though. Numbers has been so good. Ooh, to not, I think, miss, miss the input, the uh, dash grab there. Oh, you live. Okay. But this is still a tough position. John has had some trouble getting back to the stage, so. Okay, nice utilizing soccer ball there instead of jumping back to stage. Oh, and that deep breathing, like, fake out to throw the gyro. Dill thinking she had time to run in. Really good stuff. Numbers, one thing about this matchup. Oh, he's so good at using the gyro, and obviously he is so good at catching those landings. Dill, not able to land, was the theme of game two and three, where Numbers got almost all of his percent and kills. And right there, so aware that Rob's Nair has to loop around before it can hit from the back, and just totally attack Rob from the back before the hitbox could come out. Numbers, a great, great person at this matchup, knows it so well. Ooh. And immediately, immediately, right.